Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and at the time of recording, it is March 16th. What? Um, I, at the time of recording, it's March 16th. What? At what? the what? time what? of what? recording. What? It's what? March what? 16th. What? It's Stone Cold Steve Austin Day, y'all! So we gotta preview this Austin on Stone Cold Steve Austin Day. Drop a hell yeah in the comments. We finally get a brand new powerhouse Austin, and good lord, did we finally get a good Austin. What? I know Motu's good. What? I know Stunning was good in his day. What? I'm sure the Ghostbuster one is really cool if you have him, but what? for us common folk looking for a more obtainable. What? Um, not that he's obtainable, but you know what I mean. What? Uh, Attitude Era aggressive powerhouse. Trainer ability at 26k. Black moves start with two more move points, and black submission moves last two more turns. So keeping in line with that trainer. Uh, links, shout out to the Alliance. I can tag him with RVD. What? Uh, receive 40% less damage from purple gems. Attitude era gems do 10% more damage. What? And just the standard set of gear. The bionic redneck. What? That's pretty badass, not gonna lie. What? A uh, couple different builds we're going to take a look at. We've got some gem damage. We've got some move damage. We're going to start with a triple red gem damage build. The finisher, obviously, the Stone Cold Stunner 10 MP. What? Deal 893,333 damage. What? And increase your red gem damage by 140% for one turn. What? Then, what? deal 268,000 damage and make 38 blast gems into red gems. What? Uh, red 2, the Leapfrog Body Guillotine, 6 MP, deal 192,066 damage. And choose a 1 by 5 area to swap into red gems. What? Uh, the 5 star move, the Groin Kick, 8 MP, deal 166,160 damage. And make 38 random gems into blast gems. So this is going to be our blast gem focus build. What? We have Butch for red MP. We have JBL for 25% uh, to red gems, 100% to blast gems, and not shown in the description, plus three blast gems. Uh, Conspiracy Theory Sammy getting an upgrade at Coach now has a 100% more damage to Blast Gems Coach ability. What? And then Zombie Priest for 30% to red, 60% to Blast. We are stacking all sorts of damage onto the red gems. What? For the belt, we are running a 50% gem damage. What? Shout out to the new creator accounts. We have a little bit of everything now. What? Um, so now I have a 50% gem damage belt. Like, no, I'm not actually VIP 12. What? This is a brand new um, creator account that I get to use. So shout out to Scopely for hooking up the content creators. What? Really appreciate that. What? We have everybody now. What? With gears, with moments, every plate, every belt. So if there's something y'all want to see, hit me up. What? Because the girl can make it happen now. No more. I don't have this person. I don't have this plate. Uh, but anyways. 50% gem damage, two sets of Fury 2s, running a Titan plate. Whenever you make eight or more blast gems, increase the damage of all of your gems by 200% for two turns. What? And then whatever this one is called, I never remember, the underdog story. Whenever you break four or more black gems, generate 10 random red gems at the end of your turn. Uh, just because I have the plate doesn't mean I'm going to use it. What? If you have the head of the seance, go ahead. It's not readily available, so I'm still a little hesitant to use things like that. What? Uh, but that would be cracked, making eight red gems and generating 30 more. Maybe I'll do a little short on all the insane stuff you can use. And uh, we're going to go against the Bionic Redneck, Stone Cold Steve Austin at six star silver, because this is the only six star silver opponent we can actually face. What? Let's see what he does. Twinning. What? Um, okay, so he does have the plus 99 MP for the month. Yay. Y'all know how I feel about that. Um, but I don't have tour perks on because I'd just rather not. So we're just going to pretend that nothing is loaded. Make our one by five. That'll load up everything. We're starting with 
five MP. So I guess you would be short one. You would need Santa Hogan to make it six. We're going to pretend we have a plus one. For this is so difficult for previews now. Um, so 48 and a half generate our blast gems. And I love that they left me one. So 83.3 on the blast gems, 128. And then the stone cold stunner. Two and a half mil move damage. Increase the red jam damage. Gonna slow it down. Should be about 308k per red blast. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And then 200k on a regular red gem. So 17, upwards of 18 mil turn one. Keeping down a six star silver, but that's why we're going against a silver. Oh, now it triggers. Um, but that's why we're going against a silver because the... the the damage output is going to be so ridiculously high. Uh, but that is one of his gem damage builds. Let's go take a look at a second. Next build we're going to take a look at is another gem damage build. We're bringing in the submission and two of the black moves, including the six star move. What? Uh, the submission, the figure four leg lock, seven MP color submission. What? Choose eight gems to make into black submission gems and do 240,083 damage for three turns. What? While submission gems are on the gem board, what? remaining submission gems turn into multiply gems of strength nine. What? The Texas pile driver, seven MP. Deal 625,333 damage and choose six gems to make into yellow gems. What? And then the mud hole stomp, um, 10 MP, six star move. This is a finisher, even though the text does not say as such. It is a finisher. What? Deal 1,786,666 damage. What? Plus 178,666 bonus damage. For every yellow gem. What? Entourage for this. Kofi for yellow MP. Uh, Showboat Cena for plus two yellow MP and 45% more damage to the yellow gems. What? Striker Brawn for 25% to yellow gems. If you have Zombie Sammy, you could use him. What? And then uh, Zombie Dragon for plus three yellow. If you have Hall of Fame Booker, he gives you 5% and plus two. Again, I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to use exclusives. What? Um... I don't know why I'm using Braun instead of Sammy using that logic, but it is what it is. What? We're trying to make it somewhat accessible here. What? Um, and then for the belt, sticking with the 50%, bringing in the Rhonda's jacket plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. This will be applicable to the finisher. What? And then the General's Hand um, ultimate plate. General's Hand? Yeah. Uh, whenever you make six or more submission gems, gain three purple and three yellow MP. So going for a turn two build here, but a very strong turn two. So again, everything is loaded. Shouldn't be. When you choose your eight black gems, you're going to need to make three three matches, uh, keeping the zero perks into account. So that's how you're going to load up the finisher. Keep that in mind. I didn't think to look at the bonus damage on the finisher beforehand. It does count. The sub does count. It's up to 687. Uh, choose nine to make into yellow gems. This is why I have the general's hand plate on. Uh, because I'm not going to be making any... I mean, I guess you could make... You could do a three match. to guarantee the recycle if you are worried about them kicking out. So we'll just do that. Do that for the homies. And then you can cycle that back and forth until you're bored. Uh, but five mil with the, um, the black percentage move metal. Five mil finisher, 687 per every, uh, per yellow gem. We criticaled, go figure. So that's another 18 mil. If you didn't want to match the gems, you'd get another mil and a half on top of it or something. But we have a, a strong Titan turn one. We have a strong Rhonda's jacket turn two. Let's go take a look at some of his move damage builds. Let's switch focus over to some move damage builds and we're going back to the triple red. What? Uh, maybe you don't have a Titan plate. Maybe you don't have the pieces to make the move, uh, the gem damage work. I did want to take a look what? and see how this would fare. What? 
um, with takedown medals and the NWO tested loyalty plate. What? So Butch for red MP, Judgment Day Finn for 100% to the red moves and plus two MP. What? Snoop for 40%, Gooker for 40%, and going over to the 50% move damage belt. What? Two sets of takedown twos. We have our red percent. And then the NWO tested loyalty. What? Whenever you break six or more red gems, increase your red move damage by 75% for two turns. What? Um, so if they kick out, the plate will stack. What? Um, and curious to see how this looks. I don't I don't think it's going to be the top tier move damage build, but let's at least provide the option. Okay, so again, thank you plus 99 MP for making this even more difficult. Uh, choose a 1 by 5 to swap into red. That's 1.1. 1 .1. That's 984. Finisher is 5.2. So what you want to do, because it's a 1 by 5, you want to attach it to a red gem to make it 6 to make sure you trigger the plate. Now it's up to 5.9, 1.2, 1 1.1. So we're going to go ahead and get these out. Remember, we are facing a silver at bronze. So silver versus silver, this would be a little... He really didn't kick out. What? What? Okay. Let's do that again. What? Okay, take two. Austin, you can do it. Um, also, it's going to apply to the um the move damage in the combo move, which I neglected to point out, which is why he didn't kick out. And he was like, "Do it again. You didn't explain it properly." What? I did, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's gonna scale up. Please kick out. He kicked out the last four times I tested it. Oh my god. You know what? Never mind. Y'all yeah, get it. 10 ish mil. Not ish mil, that's Mutsumobi Dick. No, 10 ish mil. Um, and that'll stack. So move damage will slowly increase, but let's go take a look at the move damage build. Last build we are going to take a look at bringing in the two moves we have not looked at the stun gun yellow move 5 MP what? deal 380,560 damage and increase your black move damage what? by 128% what? for one turn what? does not affect bonus damage. Uh, the pointed elbow drop black move 6 MP deal 625,333 damage. What? And choose six gems to make into black gems. Yep, a self-recycling black move, and we're not using a drip plate. What? Um, and then bringing back the mud hole stop, the big old move damage bonus and a bonus per yellow gem. What? I'm gonna run this twice. What? Uh, because the first one I'm gonna run double black, and then the second one I'm going to run black and yellow to see what it looks like when we double stack the stun gun. What? Uh, but woods for black, EO for black, and 100% more damage to the black moves. Gooker for 40%, Showboat Lita for 50% to the finisher. What? Running the 50% move damage belt with the tier 5, 200% uh, black. And we're using the, what's this called again? What? Challenge of our rival plate. If you sing all the words to Eye of the Tiger, you get like 12 plate names, by the way. What? Um, whenever you break three or more black gems, gain three yellow move points. What? So, uh, let's, let's see what this does. So again, thank you, MP boost. Uh, we're, go we're going into this at 10.7 mil on the finisher, and we're going to boost it. What? Just, just FYI. What? Uh, so make your two, three matches. What? Pretend that that wasn't loaded. What? You can put out some more black gems if you want. Make a three match. What? I don't gain that. And what is the number? All right. What? 24 and a half mil. What? Finisher damage. What? On turn one. What? Now I'm going to take off EO and I'm going to add Kofi. What? Because it should hit more. What? Math says 128% is higher than 100%. 
So let's see what happens when we stack this twice. All right, ignore the inaccurate data on the left of your screen. We are using Woods and Kofi. And uh, we're going to start stack a lag, and this is going to be kind of sick. 8.96 to start. What? Now it's up to 20.4. What? Two, three matches. What? One more three match. What? Another stack. What? 31.9. The math is mathing, folks. What? The math is mathing. What? Big numbers. What? Hooray for big numbers. What? Let's go ahead and wrap things up. What? So that concludes our first look at Steve Austin, Bionic Redneck, and Aggressive Attitude Era Powerhouse. Again, Trainer Ability, 26k. What? Black moves start with two more move points. Black submission moves last two more turns. He has the Alliance Link. What? Receive 40% less damage from Purple Gems. Attitude Era Gems do 10% more damage. What? Just the one standard set of gear. So let me know what you think in the comments of this video. What? We have a powerhouse for Rook, who is also an Attitude Era powerhouse. We just had Legends Era Roman come out, who was move damage based as well. What? Where do you rank him among powerhouses? What? Where do you rank him among Austins? What? Um... Again, Masters of the Universe Austin, Ghostbuster Austin, and um, the Bionic Redneck, I think, are the top three. What? Where would you place him? Is he the top of the top? Is he maybe not as good as the Ghostbuster that we're not allowed to talk about? Well, we're allowed to talk about it, but you know what I mean. What? Um, any other questions, comments, concerns? Feel free to hit me up in the Discord server. Again, shout out to the test account. We have everything. What? We have everything. What? So if there is a build you have been itching to see. What? Keep in mind, there's probably some characters we can't use. Like, you know, that guy. What? Maybe that guy. What? I don't know. Keep that in mind. Uh, but we got moments, we got gears, we got all sorts of stuff. So if there is a build you would like to see, a character that you are curious about at Six Star Bronze, Hit up your girl in the comment section or in the Discord. Let me know what you want to see and I'll make it happen for you. What? Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. What? Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe. What? So you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. What? Thank you again for watching. And if you liked this video, give me a hell yeah. What? You don't have to do that. What? Thank you for being a friend. What? What?